Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit the subscribe button down below. And let's get right to it. I apologize for the sound right off the bat. I'm not using the proper microphone right now. For whatever reason, my other microphone has not been plugged back into my computer, and I can't seem to be able to get it done. So I'm using the microphone that is built into my little camera here, and it sucks, and I'm sorry. But on to the, on to the story of the day. And I've got to start by saying I give up. I completely give up. We can't, even, we can't go very long without a mass shooting in this country. And I'm tired of talking about it. Now, I don't know if my viewers, the, the few viewers I get, um, want me to talk about these kind of topics or not. And if you do, let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, I don't think I'm going to keep doing these stories. This is the kind of story I can't, I, I, it just, it, it breaks my heart too much. It's heart-wrenching to keep bringing you these stories. But yesterday, a gunman walked into a high school, gunned down 10 classmates, shot two police officers, and injured 11 others. The officers will be, uh, from what I heard, are okay right now. But I give up. We, we do nothing. We continue to do nothing about these shootings. And I guess we'll continue to do nothing. I've come to the conclusion that our Congress is bought and sold. And there's no way we're going to be able to get anything done. It, it's, it's, it's undoable. I give up. It appears to me that we're going to have to wait until the current generation of people start graduating high school and start voting and start running for office before we see change. It's pathetic. I see liberals after every shooting, just again, just like I did yesterday, talking about one, one shooting victim is one too many. Something basically Elizabeth Warren said. Cory Booker said something similar. Among all sorts of other liberals tweeting about this yesterday. But you liberals in Congress do nothing. You're the most spineless cowards I have ever seen. You talk a big game on Twitter. You get on TV and talk a big game about gun regulations. Sensible gun laws. And you do nothing. Put your money where your mouth is. Or your mouth where your money is or whatever. But here's my solution for you. If you're a liberal and you are not pushing for gun regulations in Congress, I'm going to vote I'm not going to vote for you. I'll even vote for a Republican over you if they're willing to at least work. The people I plan to vote for this November do not take money from the NRA and do not and and do not support unfettered access to every single firearm on the face of the planet. They don't believe in, in arming every single person to the teeth. I went through and I made those, 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 those emails and Facebook messages to those individuals that are running. But we'll do nothing. As always, we'll continue to do nothing. Virginia Tech, we did nothing. Newtown, we did nothing. Jonesboro, Arkansas, we did nothing way back in the 90s. Pearl, Mississippi, we did nothing. Columbine, we did nothing. The Aurora Movie Theater, we did nothing. Pulse Nightclub, we did nothing. San Bernardino, we did nothing. After every mass shooting in this country, we have done nothing. I, I give up. But if you're, if, but if you are in Congress, you need to be voted out if you're not willing to do something to protect the kids in this, in this country. I don't know what else to tell you, but we've got to make a change. 
The change will come in time, because clearly the people that are there now aren't going to do anything about it. But to those of you in Congress, if you are not pass, trying to pass a law or introducing laws to try to make changes to prevent school shootings, and I mean, you need to have these be putting pumping these out by next week. If you're not, you need to be voted out. I don't care if your name's Elizabeth Warren. I don't care if your name's Bernie Sanders. I don't care if your name's Cory Booker. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Camilla Harris. I don't care who you are. You will not get my you will not get my support, nor would you get my vote if you were in my district or my state. Simple as that. Second, the media. The media keeps sensationalizing this bullshit every single time it happens. They plaster their name and face all over the news for weeks after the shooting. Spend a few hours maybe on the victims. But all you're doing is creating a, an environment for more people to do it. They see all these other people getting their 15 minutes of fame and they think, hey, I'm getting bullied so I'll do this. And I'll get about 15 minutes of fame. You've got to stop that. The mainstream media is part of the problem. And I'm not going to sit here and blame video games, movies, and TV for that. I'm, or TV shows for that. I'm going to blame mo the news for constantly plastering their faces all over our television screens. CNN. Fox News, MSNBC, ABC, NBC, CBS, all of you. I think you all hold some responsibility here. Now, the ultimate responsibility, of course, hold, it lands with the gunman. But I think you should stop sensationalizing what these people are doing because it's disgusting and it's wrong. Now, people are sitting there saying, oh, he was bullied and this and that. He was treated wrong. People said mean things. Wah, cry me a damn river, people. I don't care if he was bullied. I don't care if he was treated wrong. I don't care if people said mean things about his ass. I don't give two shits. I don't give two shits, and I never will. I was picked on and bullied my entire time in high school. I didn't bring a gun to school and murder people. Be like, oh, well, you're a liberal. You probably didn't even have access to guns. There were guns in my house everywhere. I had access to guns if I wanted them. But I never took a gun to school and murdered people. I get bullied all the time. I still I still get people saying bad things about me. Even as an adult, as a 30-year, 30 38-year-old man, I still have people say things about me because I'm in a wheelchair. I don't go over to the local store and start shooting people up. There's no excuse. You can blame video games, TV shows. You know, you can blame all that if you want. But there's no excuse, there's no justifiable reason to murder people because you were bullied. And from what I've been, what I read from one of the other people, he was never physically bullied. I was beat up. Frequent, a few, a good, a good for a good, a little while there, I was getting beat up fairly frequently. You know, I didn't go kill nobody, and this guy was just being made fun of for crying out loud. People have a thicker skin. Don't let, don't let the words people say hurt you. They're just freaking words. They only have value if you let them. Anyhow, this will be the last video like this I make unless y'all tell me in the comments that you want me to keep uh, making videos over this topic. It's not a topic I want to cover much anymore because it's just it's too heart-wrenching. But I'm going to give you, for the last time, my thoughts on things we could do 
to lessen the chance of, gun, of mass shootings at schools. First, a federal program to put freaking metal detectors in every single school at every place where the where students or, or faculty or anybody enter the building. You tell me you don't have the money, we just gave billionaires a 1.4 trillion dollar tax cut. There's your money. Two, hire veterans. Retired veterans who have no jobs, you know, vet them all you need to, but hire them to guard our schools. At all the entrances, put veterans. Have them armed if they have to be. I don't know, with pistols, rifles, whatever you think they need. But station them at every entrance to our schools. At least until we figure out what's going on and how, how we can put, a, put the kibosh on this whole mass shooting epidemic we have going on. Third, in schools, especially schools where you can, uh, we can find the money for it, especially your bigger schools, where it's harder to keep tabs on every single student, have deterrent systems put in place. I watched a video over a school, I believe it was in Indiana, where they have locked down the school, literally. They have a system that locks down the school in case of an intruder. It uses different kinds of um, gas sprays, CO2 sprays, things like that, and noises to disorient the shooter. Two, it locks down the school, the school doors, locks all the school doors. Kids can't enter the classroom, so a student can't get in the classroom. So someone with a gun wouldn't be able to kill people. Bulletproof doors. Doors where they where an AR-15 cannot come through. And part of that would also be in smaller schools maybe where they could put maybe like a cement bunker in some of the classrooms where you know where there's maybe just standing room maybe, but where everybody can crowd into the built into this little thing and not be shot. I saw some of those being sold last year. It's pathetic that we continue to do nothing and we don't care what happens. And I give up. I, I really do. I don't think I don't see change happening anytime soon. But those are my ideas. You know. And here in Texas. This happened in Houston, Texas, in a state here where we have open carry, concealed carry. Some districts even carry handguns. You know. And nothing changes. A good guy with a gun. Well, we had two police officers that charged into, this, into the line of fire. They got shot. But I thank them. I thank them for their fast their fast actions and running into danger. Definitely something I couldn't have done. So to those officers that were that were injured yesterday, um, I, I I will pray for your speedy recovery. And thank you for you know going there and trying to and trying to save lives. Thank you. And lastly, I've got to say that. Uh, I'm at a loss, especially over the fact that all these people say thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. But the thing is, prayers without action mean nothing. They're absolutely useless. You know, it's that whole, uh, it was, um, I believe, I think it's um, like James 2.17, I think it was. Where it says faith with basically faith without actions is useless. And that's where I'm gonna leave you today. That's all I'm got that's all I gotta say about this. Tomorrow I'll try to have my, my microphone fixed where I have better sound quality. And it'll be a video over something entirely different. 
It'll just be a rant over something entertaining. And it's not going to be over this. It's not going to be over something like this at all. Anyhow, y'all have a great Saturday afternoon. Have a great evening as well. You know, talk, you know, talk to your kids, hug your kids a little tighter. All I can say is as someone that doesn't have kids, that I am I'm really glad that I don't. Y'all have a great day. This has been the Big Ranch Show. I've been your host, Jacob Keck, and I'll see you down the road.